Hi friends, I've discovered a new cheese and I think you need this in your life. Halloumi is a warm weather cheese and it originates in Cyprus. Here's the neat thing about this cheese, it doesn't melt when it's heated. So come on into my kitchen, let me show you how to make some halloumi. Heat two and a half gallons of pasteurized, unhomogenized whole milk to the target temperature of 86 degrees. Once you've reached the target temperature of 86 degrees, take one eighth of a teaspoon of mesophila culture and sprinkle it on top of the milk. Allow it to rehydrate for one minute. Now we'll add a half teaspoon of calcium chloride to the milk. Dilute it in a quarter cup of non-chlorinated water. This will help it mix more evenly into the cheese. Stir for one minute. Now we'll do the same thing to the rennet. We'll dilute one half teaspoon in a quarter cup of non-chlorinated water. Add it to the milk and stir for one minute. Cover the pot and let it rest for 40 to 45 minutes. Check the curds for a clean break. Cut the curds into one half inch cubes, first vertically, then horizontally. Put the lid on and let it rest for five minutes. Slowly, over a 40 minute period of time, gently stir the curds and bring it to 104 degrees Fahrenheit. Use a bottom to top stirring motion. Once the curds have reached 104 degrees, we'll cook the curds for an additional 20 minutes. Maintain the temperature at 104 and stir occasionally. At the end of the 20 minutes, your curds should look like this, about the size of peanuts. Go ahead and let the curds rest for about five minutes. Place a fine mesh polander over a pot so you can catch the whey. Carefully pour the curds into the fine mesh colander. Place the curds into a cheesecloth lined mold. Place the followers on top and press this at a medium pressure of 30 pounds for one hour. Remove the cheese from the mold. Take off the cheesecloth and flip the cheese. Take a fresh piece of cheesecloth and wrap the cheese up, place it back into the mold and press it again for 30 minutes for 50 pounds. 
place the flowers back on top. Yum, yum. If you don't have a press, it's no problem. Simply sandwich the curds between two cutting boards and place 30 pounds of weight on for one hour. Remove the weights. <laughs> no. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> Remove the weights. The curds are in a cheesecloth lined pillowcase. Your curd pillow should now be a curd pancake. Flip it over. Replace the cutting boards. And press it with 50 pounds of pressure for 30 minutes. Whew, I need to get to the gym. Just about 15 minutes before it's ready to come out of its final press, I started heating the whey and we'll need to keep that temperature up to between 174 and 195 degrees. Cut the slab of cheese into even slices, about an inch thick. You can already see this is a beautiful cheese. I can't wait to try it. That's some beautiful cheese right yeah, there. That's the sound of my whey boiling over. Don't turn your back. Place all the pieces into the whey and let it cook for about an hour or until the cheese pieces float to the top. And an hour later, this is what you should see. And the texture should be a lot like cooked chicken. Salt both sides of the cheese with about one eighth of a cup of non-iodized salt and then let it rest for about two to four hours. Place the cheese in a 12% brine solution made up of one gallon of non-chlorinated water and 15 ounces of non-iodized salt. Brine the cheese for 10 to 12 hours, depending on your salt preference. You can store the cheese in this brine for up to 60 days in the refrigerator, or you can vacuum seal it like I'm going to do. If you'd like more information about how to create a brine solution, I'll put a video in the playlist called Tips and Techniques. Check it out there. Store the packages in your refrigerator for up to 60 days. Can I join you? Thank you. And here it is, fresh halloumi. Thanks so much for watching. Like, share, and subscribe to this channel and be sure to ring the bell to receive future notifications so you don't miss an episode. And we'll see you in the next video.